Hi guys, it's Thursday and it's fairly late. It's after seven. And yeah, today has been an interesting day. Um, I've just been very, 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 very tired today. Um, I was at work late last night and then I had to be up uh, bright and early this morning and get there to open. And it was just, I didn't sleep well. I was so tired. I was falling asleep at work. I needed another tea and I, um, I didn't have any. So, um, they asked me to stay late and I said no because I was falling asleep. And um, I got home, thank goodness. At one point, um, I was getting very, very heavy eyed in the car, which is not a good thing. So, I'm home, I have eaten a little bit, and um, I fell asleep. I fell asleep listening to an audiobook. Uh, the audiobook is Murder at the British Museum, and I was just lying on the couch with Luna lying with me as well. So we just kind of had a little cat nap. I have no idea how long the cat nap was. I'm going to check Fitbit, but um, yeah, it was it was fairly long. Um, so, well, when I woke up, I found out that I had, because I placed some um, books on hold from the library, and I found out that another one of my books was at the library to pick up. So I went to the library, and I picked up a couple of books that I had placed on hold. Um, I picked up The House in the Cerulean Sea. I've heard good things about this. See this all over um, booktube. As well as I picked up the first book for Amulet, uh, the graphic novel. And um, I've seen this one around too. Yeah, I wanted to see what it was all about, so I picked it up. And yeah. they're both very, very good. Excuse me, I've been, um, sorry, I've been, um, continuing to do my buddy reads, oh, this is hot, but I'm, I need caffeine. Um, there you go, little interruption. Um, I've been continuing with my buddy reads. I haven't read anything today because I told you I fell asleep. Um, reading The Creakers with Gaia at Gaia Athena. We are so enjoying this so, so much. We, I have to read four chapters for today. Um, I think I'm going to stick to the four chapters because yesterday we read a little head because a set of the four chapters was really, really small. So, um, yeah. So we did that. I can't wait to find out how she's going to get um, the grown-ups home. So this is a story about Lucy um, and all the kids on her street. They wake up one morning and all the grown-ups are gone, all of them. They can't find them. Um, and then they are aware of these monsters called Creakers that live under their bed at night. So she is trying, her and her friends, Lucy and her friends, um, are trying to find out how to get their grown-ups back, how to get their parents back, and um, so far it's great, um, and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to, um, I forgot which side, uh, and link below um, last week's vlog where I read chapter the prologue in chapter one, um, just in case you want, you have missed it. I'm also buddy reading with. Julie at Hungry Bookworm, and we are reading The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns. Um, I just started this one, I think. I'm on chapter six, and last night I was tired as well. I don't know. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night, so um, I only read two chap uh, two pages, not two chapters, two pages. Like, what is that? So I need to read more of this and then let Julie know where I am. We're kind of just taking our time and going with it and seeing what we can do. So, yeah, that's great. So that's 
a lot of my uh, middle grade madness creakers and I started it early that's okay because we'll we'll end the month a little early just make it kind of a month um, it's only two days I mean two days come on people right um oh look the library gave me a bookmark anyway um I don't know if this is going to be able to fit into uh, middle grade March, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, also doing March Mystery Madness. Um, I was reading, what am I reading? Oh, I just finished uh, Murder at the British Museum, and for that there are two detectives. So, you know, everything's in twos because of 22. Um, you know, the year 2022, so it was read books with twos. So there's two detectives in that story, so I'm going to read that. I may continue in that series as well. Um, I also want to get into the London Love It book. Um, it's a, the new series, Frostfall Island. And um, um, let me see. Hold on a second. I'll get it. It's, it's uh, Murder at North Pond. I remembered North Pond. I knew it was Murder at North Pond, Pond, and I didn't want to mess it up. But I'm using it because the series has two, two words in the title, which is Frostfall, Frostfall Island. So I want to read this one as well. Hopefully I can get into that one today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, looking forward to that. Enjoying her writing. Love Port Dan B series and the Firefly Junction series. I think I'm caught up on both of those. Unless another book has come out recently. Because they're coming out like crazy. I think there's another one coming out in April and I think that's for Port Danby. I'm not 100% sure. Gonna have to keep track of that. Um, and at the moment I can't keep track of anything. But that's what I've done. So I have another few books on hold from the library so hopefully they will come in soon uh, a couple of them are uh the next two books in the veronica speedwell series and i'm looking forward to those i think those are the two last ones um i think the second last one should be in soon i thought it was available but it's not and the last one of course because it's new and was only out i think it came out last year eh, there's a long one wait for that one. That's okay. I think I've got a couple other ones. I think it said I had a total of four, four books or five books. There's two and I think there's three or four more still on hold. I'm gonna have to look that one up too. I should write these things down, right? You would think. Um, also, I have my crochet on the go. I need to get this done for the girl at work um so i'm making her christmas tree skirt so it's looking like that um we just need it a little bigger um maybe about five rows bigger because her tree is full and uh, then i'll put the um okay words not coming um the trim the uh Jean, around I don't know anyway she has actually left work uh, she no longer works with us so I have to get this done for when she comes back to see us she's coming to um, watch out Luna to drop some stuff off and I need to get that done and um, I'm kind of sad because I finally chose a name um, for my crochet and um, I haven't ordered the labels and it would be nice to order the labels because I need to get also need to get um, uh, why are these words failing me um, an icon a graphic um, Oh, sorry. 
my bag is full. Um, hey, Luna, stop. It's just from the library. Let it go. Um, yeah, I need to get... Oh, I'm losing my mind. I knew it. I was talking about it, thinking about it. Not talking about it to myself, but thinking about it to myself. Um, a logo. That's it. Um, and do that. So, uh, you know, nothing, I'm not doing anything really uh, much with it, but we're, we're just starting small. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to put that on there. I've, I've finally come up with a name, and I've changed one of my Instagram accounts. And so we will see how it goes. We're not uh, pushing it or anything like that. It's just something to get creative. And, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Anyway. That's what I've been doing. Not a heck of a lot. It's been a really interesting week. And now that March, excuse me, now that March has started, it's just crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking I may need some vacation soon. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start in on this right now. And finish my tea and hopefully cuddle with the cats a little bit and I will see you soon. Well hello guys. Yes I'm starting my Sunday off uh, rather late. It's what 11? 11 11.30? Um, and I need to get up and get going. I've been um, doing a little bit here and there this morning. I was listening to the audiobook of Murder at the Ashmodian, 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 I can't pronounce, anyway, it's one of the, oh goodness, what a start to the vlog, day, today, ah, um, I don't know why I have trouble with that word, um, it's the third book in the Jim Eldridge series for his um, Murder at the Museum series. So, yes, I'm enjoying that. Um, I finished Creakers. And it was a buddy read with the guy Athena, and it was so good. I enjoyed it so much. Um, yeah, Tom Fletcher's books, uh, middle grade books, are incredible. I haven't read any of his other, other things, so I can't um, say anything about that. I am uh, still reading The Enchantress Returns, which is my buddy read with Julie at Hungry Bookworm. Um, yeah, it's slow to progress on that one. Um, but I've also finished another book. Let me just get it here because it's, it's a new series. It's Murder at North Pond. Uh, it's the new series by London Lovett, which is Frostfall Island. And this is part of uh, March Mystery Madness because it's um, two words in the series title. I think most of the London Lovett series are two words like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Firefly Junction and Port Danby. And um, yeah, so I'm doing that. And the British Museum, <clears throat> excuse me, books are part of my March Mystery Madness as well because there are two um, investigators in that. So two people. Um, yeah, Daniel and Abigail, um, Abigail, I believe her name is, and yes, so, um, uh, enjoying that. I had picked up some books, I'm not sure if I told you this, I had picked up some books from the library the other day, I think I told you which ones I picked up. Well, I finished, um, Amulet, uh, it's a graphic novel, so it was quick, it took me, what, an hour or so to finish this one, looking forward to more in this series, but there's big hold on those. Um, I do have another book that I need to pick up at the library because of course you go pick up your books and they just keep coming in day after day because I had waited to pick up these ones. Um, first I got the House in the Cerulean Sea notification that it was there and then I got this one the next day and then I went to pick those ones up and I got the next one the next day, so Friday. And unfortunately with work, um, I couldn't pick it up during the hours of uh, the library. And they're not open on Sunday, so I can't do it.
to bat. It's going to have to wait till Monday, which reminds me I need to put that in my phone so I don't forget. Um, so I've decided today's the day. Today is the day. I am going to get this ceiling fan put up. Um, so fingers crossed, everything works out. Can't wait to get it up and installed. Um, yes, I have somebody that I can text message just in case I have some questions. So yay, that's good. But oh, I've got this sweater on and now I'm getting really hot. Um, but I'm going to, um, I think, make myself another tea because I've only had one this morning and I'm a little thirsty and I need to wake up. So we'll do that. I'm trying to cut down on my tea consumption. Hopefully that'll work. Um, Pepper, what you doing? Uh, too bright over there. I don't think you can see her. Licking herself over there. Um, but it's a very, very windy day. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of knocking and crashing and stuff like that. And it's just things blowing in the wind. We've already had a few things knocking out the window. I have to go and do some laundry. Yeah. Um, hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, nobody will do be doing laundry right at the moment. Um, so, yes. I think um, most of my March, middle grade March books... I, I'm working on. I finished Precurse. Uh, I'm going to be working on uh, The Wizard of Oz and I'm still on uh, The Enchantress Returns. Plus this month I have to start our Rambling Readers pick which is Miracle Sin or Miracle Sin by uh, Marcus Hawk and yes I need to get that one finished before the live show which will be sometime early April. April-ish. Um, yeah. So that's how I'm starting my day. I will let you know how it goes and how it's uh, gonna go on. But um, yeah, let's just walk around. Oh yeah, I've got lots of cleaning to do because this place is a disaster. I've been just tired all week. Um, but yes, let's see here. See this ceiling fan is the one I'm changing. You see that? Yeah, it's old and crickety and yucky and yeah. So it's been like this since I moved in. So it's time for a new one and yeah. So hmm, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know why I'm so freaked out about this because normally I'm not. I just go in, I do my thing, get things done if I can do it. If not, I work it out. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday and I will see you very, very soon. Well, I'm back. Yes, I'm slowly making progress here on oh, oh, the ceiling fan. I'm... Uh, I have a little issue, a little issue. Sorry, my thing keeps moving here. I need to get some of the black plastic off the wire so I can connect them better. And I've already done it too difficult, like too hard. So I cut off a little piece. <laughs> I don't want to cut off more because then I'll end up with less of a black wire, which is not good because oh, then I'm stuck. And I'm stuck right now. And I'm worried because in order for me to turn off this electricity, I turn off the electricity to my fridge too. So I am going to be losing some stuff in the fridge if I can't hurry up and get this done. <sighs> hmm. I know. I know. I'm nervous. I'm hoping that the remote is going to work. I hope that I don't have to go back in this and, and fix it up and see what terrible damage I've done. But hey, so far so good. I mean, I've done this much and that's pretty good. I left the instructions on the blades um, and it's been a little difficult because underneath it is the bed. Um, so I've been walking on the bed and stuff and it's a mess, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. 
we'll see. I don't know if I can, with this like this, if I can turn on the electricity and get stuff back to the fridge. I don't think so. People make it look so easy to just take the plastic off of a wire, but it's not that easy. Because I'm afraid I'm going to go too much. Anyway, that's my uh, update for now. <sighs> Wish me luck. It's me again in my grubby attire. Um, so I needed to get help on my fan because I didn't have the right tool, tool to take off the plastic off that wire. So someone helped me with that. And yes, so it's up here. Um, it is. It's up. It looks good. It looks, oop, it looks terrible. It looks good, but it doesn't work. The rumble control isn't uh, working. Or maybe it's just the ceiling fan in general. I'm not 100% sure, but I was told everything that I did was correct. So everything's there. It's all put together and it just, it won't work. I don't know what I did because the remote is set with the frequency the same. So I don't understand what's going on. But I don't know if I'm going to try to fi finish it or fix it today or if I'm just going to hold up my hands and say forget it um, for now. I mean, I really want to get it to work and not have to deal with it again. But hmm. anyway, sorry, doing my laundry as usual. It's Sunday. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? I might turn off. Oh, there goes the cat. I might turn off the electricity again and um, see what I can do. I don't know what happened. Maybe when he was in there trying to change everything, the, the antenna. Uh, something happened to the antenna. I don't know because it's supposed to go down the. The mounting, what is that, a mounting rod? So I did that. I did that. I did that. Ugh, it's not working. Anyway, I'll work it out, right? Hopefully. It's, it's just after two. Guys, enough! Oh, great. Pepper is chasing Watson. And now, like, he's taken off, and she's like, I'm just going to meander over there because I'm going to get him anyway. Um, poor guy. He's losing his, his fur here and here. And I have a feeling it's because of her, but I don't see it anywhere. So, hmm. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, hopefully by the end of the day, I have a, situ uh, a solution to the ceiling fan. But who knows? I'm still listening to um, the... Murder at the Museum series um, books. I'm not going to say this museum because I screwed it up the last time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to figure some of that stuff out. Fold my laundry. What do I need to fold? Let me fold my laundry first and then I'll try to work out this stupid ceiling fan thing. Yep. Anyway, I'm still proud of myself for putting up that ceiling fan. I'm darn close. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>